sweeping coverage for you right now. The nation just stunned by a weekend of violence. More than 30 people killed, dozens injured during a 12-hour span in back-to-back -back mass shootings. The communities of El Paso, Texas and Dayton, Ohio beginning the grieving process now. That first shooting in Texas taking place at a Walmart. A 21-year-old now charged with capital murder. Authorities say they suspect El Paso's proximity to the border may have played a role in the shooter's choice of location, driving more than six hours before killing 22 people. Yeah, the second shooting only hours later in Dayton, a 24-year-old opening fire in the downtown district, killing nine people, including his own sister and injuring 27 others. The president addressing the nation today for the first time. We can and will stop this evil contagion. In that task, we must honor the sacred memory of those we have lost by acting as one people. Open wounds cannot heal if we are divided. We must seek real bipartisan solutions. We have to do that in a bipartisan manner that will truly make America safer and better for all. Now WATE 6 on your side reporter Blake Stevens joins us here in the studio. That's right, Blake. And again, we're hearing those solutions to try to curb this gun violence. You heard the president just a moment ago. So That's right. This morning, he laid out what he finds to be the best solutions for this problem. His first solution is that the government should do a better job of identifying warning signs and act before these tragedies happen. He says we have to change our culture of glorifying violence in things like video games. The president calling on reform to our mental health laws and paved the way towards better treatment. President Trump also asking the Justice Department to make these hate crimes punishable by the death penalty. You know, these tragedies in Ohio and Texas really striking a nerve in millions of Americans today. The president saying mental illness and hate are responsible for the two shooting rampages, not guns. These are acts, he says, we need to condemn with one voice as a nation. The president also tweeting support for strong background checks, signaling he's w willing to work with Democrats. I am open and ready to listen and discuss all ideas that will actually work and make a very big difference. Republicans and Democrats have proven that we can join together in a bipartisan fashion to address this plague. And Congressman Chuck Fleischman chiming in on the tragedies. Part of a statement reads, the rights of law-abiding citizens should not be infringed upon or curtailed because of failures to enforce existing laws. While protecting the Second Amendment rights of Americans, we must come together to address issues of access to mental health resources and a toxic culture of violence in our society. And Congressman Tim Burchett sending us these words, the issue of mass violence that our nation faces must be addressed, but we must also be unwavering in, de in defense of our constitutional rights, as fear has usurped more freedom than any tyrant ever has. We need to empower family members and law enforcement to act on the early warning signs that often present themselves well in advance of such senseless tragedies. And Senator Marsha Blackburn saying there is more work to be done, adding, we will work with the president to continue addressing this issue in a comprehensive manner by giving law enforcement the tools they need to reduce gun violence while also respecting the constitutional rights of law-abiding citizens. The senator also saying today the issue of mental health will also require further examination. We should look into how to expand providing proper treatment and facilities for severely mentally ill. Bo, Kristen, we're also hearing from Democratic leaders on this issue. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer releasing a joint statement calling on the public to demand change, saying in part in February the new Democratic House majority promptly did its duty and passed the Bipartisan Background Checks Act of 2019, which is supported by more than 90% of the American people and proven to save lives. Guys, that, that measure never uh, coming to a vote in the Senate. This statement calling on the Senate to come back into session and vote on this legislation. Uh, if, you've guys been, if you have been on social media, you see that this debate is happening uh, everywhere. People wondering right. what is the solution. Yeah, exactly. Blake, All we right. appreciate it very, very much. Thank you so yeah. much.